So hi guys, welcome back to my channel and we are doing another So hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to have a new video which is related to what's going on in our lives now. So it's all about quarantine, okay? And quarantine, madaming nagbago sa lahat from work, from your activities, your routines, everyday, lahat nagbago. Even yung mga students na nagkaroon ng online classes, and then yung iba, hindi pa ata nakaka-graduate, and then problem nila yung internet nila, and they are just using their mobile data, Tama? So ayun, maraming problema ang nangyari. As you can see in the title below, <laughs> we are going to answer some questions about work from home. So, yon. I started working from home last March. Then, nasa bagyo pa ako nun. However, hindi ko matiis na hindi ako makakapag-work because my internet connection did not work nung nasa Baguio ako. So, before nawala lahat ng transportations, pinili ko talaga muna ng province so that I can check if okay yung internet connection and if I can go back to work na. So, fortunately, naging okay yung internet connection ko and I'm working from home and I am an ASL teacher. Okay? And then, I asked a few of you from Instagram kung ano yung mga related questions ninyo regarding work from home. Even students nag-ask sa akin regarding work from home. Yung mga iba kasi gusto nilang mag-part-time. So, yung mga iba na natapos na nila yung SEM nila and they want to uh, have activities at home or parang hindi sila ma-board, mga ganun. So, they ask, they ask me some questions regarding work from home. So, let's get started. Okay, here, let's start with Mary Zabala. Her question is, how did the quarantine change your routine? Grabe, ang laki ng na bago sa routine ko. Especially, ngayon na nandito lang ako sa bahay. Kasi before, uh, pag nasa work ako, or nung wala pang quarantine, my work schedule is in the afternoon until night. So, in the morning, nagigising na ako ng mga 9, 8 or 9, ganun. And then, I do business kasi. I... I sell coats and I sell pre love clothes. You can check it here. Here's my business account. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, just click there. Okay? So yun. Ang daming nagbago kasi, syempre, hindi na ako makakapag-business. So anong gagawin ko in the morning pagkagising ko? Um, no more business, just pure work. So, bigla akong nanibago that time. Pero ngayon na it's all... Uh, it's been three months. And bag po four months na tayong nasa bahay lang. So, um, medyo mahirap mag-adjust. Kasi nasana yung katawan ko na nagahalongkat ng coats dyan, nagtutupi, nagdadrop ng mga items sa Maharlika. And then, I go to work early. Doon ako kumakain ng lunch and everything ganyan. Parang nanibago talaga ako kasi now ang ginagawa ko is kapag nandito ako sa bahay pagkagising chores magpapakain ng aso or magdidilig ng halaman and then browse, browse magluluto maliligo and then papasok na sa work ganun t-shirt papasok na sa work ganyan so parang <laughs> nawindang ba? parang yun ba yung term? so yun parang nalimit yung pwede natin gawin this quarantine okay? so comment down below kung ano yung mga ginagawa nyo this quarantine Share your thoughts below. Okay? Then, next one. Uh-huh. Okay. Follow-up question from Mary Zapala. What routine, what is your routine during this quarantine period? Ayun na. Sabi ko kanina, pagkagising ko, chores. It's either magpapakain ng aso, magbibilig, or um, one day, maglalaba. Ayun. And then, after that, magluluto ng pagkain in, magugugas, maligigo, then pasok na sa work. Ano lang. Then, after ng work, kakain na lang. Ang maluto. <laughs> diba? Kakain. Then, magbrush. Magbrush. Hilamos. Matutulog. So, yun lang. 
Repeat. Ganun ulit. Ika pagkagising, chores, kain, luto, ugas, ligo, work. Ganun lang. <laughs> so, ayun. And then, next one is from... Hmm, hmm, hmm. From Ina Graziella. How to focus on work at home. So, that's that's the challenge. Okay? That's the challenge sa work from home talaga. How to focus kasi maraming factors yan. Meron tayong environmental factors which is maingay ba? Is it suitable for you to work at home kapag maingay? Or is it suitable for you na ang katabi ng workstation mo is kama? Kasi baka mamaya aantokin ka lang na hinihila na ako ng bed. Gusto ko na matulog. Ganyan. <laughs> Gusto ko ng humilata. Ganun. So, nasa sarili din yan eh. Kung talagang focus ka sa work mo, kahit andyan pa yung bed, kailangan determined ka. Sabi nga, you have to be firm. Kung gusto mong matuto or gusto mong mag-earn or gusto mong sumahod, you have to work on it. Yes. Okay. Then, next one. And addition pa is how to focus. Kailangan um, yung mind mo is nasa work talaga. Remove things na pwedeng makadistract sa'yo. For example, nakita mo lang yung aso mo dyan, ah, likit dito, likit dito, ganyan. Nadistract ka na. Diba? And then, one factor pa is kailangan busog ang chan. Mm-hmm. Totoo yan. Kasi pag gutom ka, hindi ka makakapag-isip ng mabuti. And nakakapangkina. Diba? So, sa amin na salita ng salita for hours, kailangan hindi kami nagugutom. Kasi pag gutom kami, bumababa yung energy and nawawalan ng focus. And kailangan din kasi namin gamitin to kasi pag hindi mo ginamit ito, hindi ko alam kung paano mo i-delete yung lesson. Diba? Hmm. Alam niyo yan. From Erika Pesquisa. So, ang tanong niya is how to keep yourself productive in this quarantine shift? <laughs> so, hindi ko naman masasabi na everyday is productive ka. Siguro may daily routine ka lang talaga na gagawin. Yan nga, sabi ko, nagkagising, breakfast, chores, ligo, luto, kain, then work, repeat, ganun ulit. Wala naman tayong ibang pwedeng gawin eh. Unless, may mga pinagkakaabalahan ka like, um, ano ba? May iba kang pinagkakaabalahan like, here, you're doing vlogs, you're editing pictures, you're preparing for something, you're reviewing, ganun. Para lang hindi pa ulit-ulit yung ginagawa natin. Kasi once na pa ulit-ulit yung ginagawa natin, nag-board tayo and naghahanap tayo ng ibang gagawin. Diba? Tama? So, yun. You need to look for something na pwede mong gawin na bago. Not everyday naman. As long as yung, ano ba, uh, yung nakakatch yung attention mo. Like, for example, nakakita ka na, ah, may nag-watercolor, they, they are painting, ganyan. Baka gusto mong itry, baka thing new, something new na skills na pwede ka palang mag-paint, or you can play a piano, you can play a guitar, mga ganun. So, huwag pa ulit-ulit para hindi tayo mabor. Okay? Next one is, 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 from Sheila Micaela. What are your skincare holy grails? So, you can I will check the video here. I will link it here. So, you can check what products I am I using. Kasi, I don't know. Na-delete ko yata yung mga pictures ng products na ginagamit ko. But then, until now, yun pa rin yung ginagamit ko. Kasi, yun yung kiyang ko. Yun yung one advice na pwede kong maibigay sa inyo is, huwag kayong papalit-palit ng products. It's okay to try para matest ninyo kung kiyang ba ninyo or hindi. But, take good care of your skin, okay? Basta once na gumamit kayo ng makeup, you need to wash your face, okay? Do not go to sleep without removing your makeup. Okay! Yes! There you go! And another question, paano mag-manage ng time? Hmm. <clears throat> paano, ako talaga ang tinanong mo, ano? <laughs> Paano mag-manage ng time? Siguro, the best advice that I can give you is that you have to list all the works that you have to do for the next day para wala kang makalimutan. Okay? The best yun. And, after mo siyang malist, after mo malist, you have to set a time frame na 
Dapat itong bagay nito, 1 hour ko lang gagawin. Itong bagay na ito, 30 minutes. Itong bagay na ito, 1 hour, 30 minutes. Ganun. Para, hindi na sa salang. Sabi nga nila, dun sa mga lessons namin, huwag kang mag-stay sa isang page kung hindi talaga kaya. Okay, move on and do the other one. So, yun. Wow. Ini sinasama ko yung mga natutunan ko sa mga trainings na <laughs> okay. Um, paano di tamarin kung katabi mo lang yung kama mo sa workstation? Buti sana kung katabi lang. Paano kapag dun ka mismo talaga sa kama nag-work? Diba? Mas mahirap yun. So, yun nga, as sabi ko kanina, kailangan focus talaga yung mind mo sa work. Okay? If gusto mong mag-earn, gusto mong matuto, gusto mong sumahod, kailangan mong labanan yun. Nasa sa sarili, nasa sarili lang din yan eh. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust na kaya mo, kailangan ko to, kailangan ko tong gawin para sa akin, hindi para sa iba. Okay. Hmm. Quote nyo na yan. <laughs> And next one. So, marami akong nire-recruit sa work namin. Kaso, they cannot go out kasi nga, um, due to quarantine. Due to community, qu community quarantine and they should have the work pass. At ayun, kailangan nila kumuha ng work pass kailangan para makapunta sila sa place or sa building namin. And then, sabi ko kasi sa kanila, pwede naman silang mag-work from home. Pero as an office based pa rin. However, um, wala silang gamit. So, sabi ko, there are teachers naman na working in the office. Kung gusto man lang nilang pumunta sa office. Pero yun na, medyo takot pa silang lumabas kasi baka nga naman... Um, may mga asymptomatic or uh, nila is safe pa rin sila so gusto nila mag-stay pa rin sa bahay nila yun so here is pwede pero depende madami nga lang maingay sa bahay so yun lang one problem here din sa akin is sometimes yung mga aso namin maingay so siguro ano lang din yan pagiging wais namin minumute namin para hindi marinig ng students namin or ng parents ng inay ng aso namin. Pero, tinatiming namin yan. Hindi naman kami pwedeng mag-mute for long, for a long time. So, for example, nag-play ako ng video, I can mute my mic para hindi marinig yung ingay ng aso. Ganun. Then, after that, unmute, then you have to talk again. You have to deliver your lesson. So, yun lang naman, wais, wais, para iwas complaints din. Di ba? Mm, hindi ako top picture, pero natututo naman ako. May mga natututunan naman ako. May natututunan naman kami lahat. So, ayun. Yun din ang ano ng working from home kasi it's not the it's it may not be the best place to work at and then the environment is not suitable kasi na maingay mga ganun. However, you need to adjust. Yes, you need to adjust para at least you are still earning, you still have money to buy your essentials. Diba? So, yun. Isang gintong butil na naman ang inyong nakuha. <laughs> So, thank you so much, guys, for your questions. And now, we will answer the question or how to make work from home work. So, here, okay. So, number one is create a dedicated workspace. So, yun nga. Maraming nagtatanong, saan ba? Saan ko ba dapat ilagay yung mga gamit ko? Pwede ba sa dining? Pwede ba ako sa sala? Pwede ba ako sa kwarto? Ganyan. So, here, walang specific place or hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na ay hindi pwede sa sala, ay hindi pwede sa kwarto, ay hindi pwede sa dining, ganun. You need to look a place wherein you can be focused, you can be more focused in doing your work. Okay? Kung sa tingin mo na sa bed mo, doon magandang mag-work, then go. Walang pumipigil. Pero it depends ko anong work naman yung gagawin mo. If you're just uh, answering emails, you're just answering comments, you're, at, you're just answering messages, ganun, siguro pwede siya sa bed. Pero for me, it's better to have um, a, a workstation na may table ako, may upuan ako. Yung may sariling space talaga. Ganon. Kasi my work 
um, my workplace is somehow madaming gamit. My tarpaulin, my computer, my mouse, my regalias, ganyan. So, hindi pwedeng sabit lang. Ganun. So, for me, ah, for me, sa work ko is kailangan ganun. Kailangan may table, my chair, my designated space talaga. For me to work. Uh, for me to work uh, re religiously. Ganun ba? <laughs> Basta para makapag-work ako ng mabuti. Yun. So, number two. Hmm. Design it as an office. Yes. Design it as an office. Kasi, for example, sa sala ka lang. Hmm, relax lang, sa bahay lang ako. Yun ang iisipin mo. Pero if you design it as an office, or you design it same as what your office looks like, mas maganda yun. Mas ma-encourage ka na mag-work. Mag Diba? So, yun nga, sabi ko kanina, mas gusto ko yung my space, sariling space ako for work para mas determined or mas encouraging tignan na I have to do my work. I have to do this. I have my work. Parang ganon. Next one is number three, wear proper clothes. So, share ko lang Doon sa office namin, or sa company namin, is meron silang mga pa-games. For example, may TikTok challenge. Merong best work from home outfit. Merong, ano pa ba yun? Best workstation. But, eh, something like that, mga ganun. So, it's an encouraging way din, di ba? Tama? It's an encouraging way for us para ma-feel pa rin namin na nagtatrabaho kami, na nasa office kami. Don't wear proper clothes. Pwede siguro na naka-formal ka or semi-formal sa taas. If dito lang naman yung nakikita, then shorts ka na sa baba. Okay lang yun. <laughs> sa amin kasi is, is just, we are wearing t-shirt given by the company. So, okay lang din na just the t-shirt and then shorts ka sa baba. Or naka kasi yung time na I, I wore um, denim skirt, and then, my t-shirt. Our t-shirt. So, yun. Parang, mas nakakaganang magtrabaho na, ah, nag-work pala ako. Parang ganun. Mas nakaka-boost ng confidence or mas nakaka-boost ng self-esteem na, ah, teacher ako. Magtuturo ako ngayon kasi ganito yung suot ko. Ganun. Unlike pag nakasuot ka lang ng shorts, nakasuot ka lang ng duster, parang, ba naman to? Ito na naman tayo. Bakay pa din. Punta dito, punta dyan. Tapos, mga ganun ba? Diba? Nakakapag-change ng mindset yung pagsusuot natin ng proper clothes. Hmm? Okay, next one is... Mm -hmm. This is my... Fourth one is manage destruction. So, yun... Somehow, yung mga distractions naman dito sa akin is manageable. Kasi not, not all the time is tumatakol yung mga aso namin. So, okay lang yun. And dalawa lang ang ano ko doon. Minsan kasi yung aso namin, nilalaro na yung kainan niya, kaya yun yung nag-make noise. And then, nadadama yung ibang mga aso sa kapitbahay. So, yun. Yun ang problema ko minsan. Pero, the muting, muting of the mic is the answer to all of this problem. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, for the fifth one is take regular breaks and move around. So, ayun. Sometimes, nagsisend sila sa Skype namin na Okay, before peak hours, galaw-galaw muna, you have to do stretching, you do exercise, or have some um, biscuits, have a short break, short snacks, ganon. So, we have two schedules in our work. That's 4 to 10, and 10 to 10. So, for 10 to 10, we have two one-hour breaks. And then, for the 4 to 10, we have um, one 30-minute break. So, ginagamit namin yun to have to eat and then for some stretching, some walking para hindi, 
Kasi grabe, sobrang sakit sa puwet na nakaupo ka for how many hours, especially for 10 to 10. So, kailangan natin mag-break so that we can regain our energies, we can rest our voice, we can rest our eyes, and we can have some stretchings para hindi, lang, hindi ka lang nasa isang position. Kasi kung 8 hours or less na nakaupo ka lang, it's like, ang sakit sa likod, ang sakit sa puwet, ganun. So, kailangan mag-stretching, ganyan, ganyan. <laughs> So, ayun. Isa yan para makasurvive ka sa buong araw na pagkatrabaho. Hmm? Take breaks, take snacks, drink water. Yes. Okay, there. My, here's my last tip, number six. Don't be afraid to delegate and get some help. So, yun nga, sabi ng uh, senior teacher namin, if you need help, just chat or send a message, Okay. Um, we may not answer it as fast as we can, but we are we will be trying our best to help you. Ganun yun. So, para maging successful or para makita na there's unity in your team, kailangan mong tulungan or kailangan namin tulungan ng isa't isa para ma-reach namin yung goal namin. So, yun. Um, we have to delegate and we have to do our part as a teacher and as a senior teacher. Ganun. Hindi pwedeng one way lang tayo na receive, receive, receive. So, we have to give and take. Okay? If you if you know what's the answer to his or her question, you have to answer it. Okay? And for example, ikaw naman yung nahihirapan, don't be afraid to ask questions. Okay? So, dun, doon nagsisimula ang lahat. Okay? If hirap ka sa ganito, um, you have to ask, anong gagawin ko? Paano ko ito malalagpasan? Paano ko ito matatapos? Mga ganun. So, hindi lang sa company namin, this is, uh, this is for all. Okay? Lahat ng nag-work from home. Okay? So, if you need help, just ask. And then, if you know the answer, then answer. And if you think you don't, or you're hesitant to say your opinion or to say your answers, maybe you can just give some encouraging words that, hmm, kaya mo yan. You can do some research. You can read some articles. Or you can watch other teachers' videos, mga ganon, so that you can have the answer. Okay? Hindi, hindi naman kailangan laging may sagot ka sa tanong, but you need, you need to give some encouraging words para naman, Hirap na nga siya eh. So, huwag mo nang pahirapan pa. Diba? Ganun yun. So, ayun guys. That's my tips on how to work from home effectively. Thank you so much guys. And sana marami kayong natutunan. See you again on my next vlog. Bye!